Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project order management system and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I am using is the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version is 5.6. I am also running this project in the my, uh, in Jam server, Lattice Jam server. Also I am using the MySQL I for connecting PHP and MySQL. For front-end development I am using the HTML CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like uh, calendars, form validations and the date integrations I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So this all of the technologies I have used for developing this project order management system. So let's start with the project functionality. So the project title is order management system and it's, it's a web based mini PHP and MySQL DBMS project, right? It's mini project because it has only and only admin login. Admin can perform operations, but there is no login for the other users like customers and sales and inventory manager, etc. It has only and only admin login available, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple store home page, right? This is the about, about of the project. So if you want to change the content of the about, then you can change it directly from the estimate page. There is nothing dynamic in this and you can change it from the notepad or notepad plus plus login this is a login form and uh, for that you must have the user id and password without user id password you will not be able to log inside the system this is a contact us and it's a static form i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page even i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database okay so i am the logins i am going to log inside the system so the user id is admin and password is test so this is the admin dashboard where admin can perform these operations. So admin can add the item, admin can add the cell, admin can see the item report, admin can see the sales report, admin can change the password and logout. So let me go through all of the menus items one by one. So this is the home already explained you. This is about us. This is the dashboard. So dashboard from where you can navigate to any of the bases, but this all menu option is also available in the header bar so let me go through the add item so here you can see there is a barcode the stock food name and the type price per item and description so you need to enter all of these fields and once you save it then the value will be saved into the database right and you will be able to see all of the items here even you can search the record from here also so once you click on the here enter the item here and just click hit on the enter then you will get the details here and even you can edit the details from here also so you can see right this is add sales this is a sales dashboard and from where you can create your sales means you can create your orders so customer name you need to enter the customer name and the customer mobile number so once you click on the continue to billing you will get the sales dashboard including the bill number and the bill date and you need to select the items from here right so you can select the items from here so you can see the items are getting selected, right? <coughs> right. So even you can increase the number of items from here also. So you can see, okay, the cost are calculating automatically and you can see it here, right? So if you want to delete any of the item, just delete it and your previous item will be available, but that item will be deleted, right? So you can see the item has been deleted. So once you click on save and print that this whole in page information will be saved into the database even you will get it later also in the cell sales data so once you click on the save then you will get this is the item sales receipt and you can print it also if you have any connected printer from the system then you will be able to print this page right so this is a sales report from where you will be able to get all of the sales history and once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of the page means they'll see the details of that order right this is a change password from where you will be able to change your account password and you will be uh, able to log in from that updated part updated password letter right this is a logout so once you log out from the system then all of the session means administration will be destroyed and none of the administration menu will be displayed so you can see these are the administration menu 
but if you log out then it will not be displayed because the above header menu is totally session driven and it comes according to the session so if you log inside the system then you will be able to get the session again but if you log out then you will not be able to get the menus right so this all things i have developed inside this project order management system as i told you earlier this is a mini web based php and mysql dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much